today we're going to be looking at uh, gain and improve compliance with the ACSC Essential 8. So we talk a lot about ACSC Essential 8 with customers and what we do is we take people from the operational side, the boring basics, the patch and discovery, move them into the foundational side where we've got things like privilege management, device control, app control in there as well. And then we have the capabilities of taking people on their security maturity journey all the way up to and including being an optimized type site. So what this is going to do, if I open it up here, it's uh, pointed at one of my Windows machines, in this case, the Windows 10 1909 box, which is over here. Don't have to wait for the connection. There it is. So I'm just going to hit go. It's going to scan that machine and drop me a configuration file here in the desktop, which is going to get you 90% of the way there to hit material level three. The rest is going to be working with our services team or internally, if you have the, the skill set there to do the ordering, to get you the rest of the way. It creates all the path rules that you'd want, puts them into group management for ease of use. Just shrink that, puts them into your uh, everyone allowed group. And then you can just go to here to set it to restricted or unrestricted or ordering, depending on what you want to do. You probably want to go to ordering first. And that's gets you the big sort of build that you'd need to really get going. For the uh, Microsoft recommended blocks, up here we have a button for import snippet. You hit that, so mine's a bit of an older console, but we can see where it would be. You hit add, continue. And then at the bottom of your group management, you'll see that you now have Microsoft recommended blocks, your XML and JScript blocks, and it would have added them in already to your denied group. So that's how we sort of start the build process and how we can get you there very, very quickly, as you can see. Running your for patch intelligence is a module, can be purchased separately, but it does come with the uh, capability of Ivani neurons for patch management. So it's one of the add-ons in there. Very critically, it has what we call a VRR in there. You'll see I now go to capability where I can see what has been exploited. These little bugs here mean that that particular vulnerability has been exploited. Now, I talked about the VRR. Interesting to see here. If I see these ones up here, these are really good case in point. I have a lot of customers who will say, yeah, we, we're really under time pressure, so we only patch critical. The stuff that comes out from the vendor that says security critical, that's what we patch. Here is a bunch of security important. These are also underneath 8.0 CVSS. So again, I'll have customers say, we only patch things over CVSS 8.0. They will miss all of those patches. And yet they are critical. And the reason they're critical, if I click on, let's pick on this one here. The reason they're critical, and you can drill into any of these patches and get all the full skinny on what's going on with it. If I click on CV, you'll see that that one has been flagged as remote code execution as an exploit that's been used with this particular CVE, which is part of that patch. Okay, so you can quickly and easily drill in, get all of the latest information on what's happening with those patches and see what's going on. A couple of things I really love about this particular area of Ivana Neurons for patch management, we get the ability to configure what we want to patch for. So I can pick my severity levels, I can pitch a patch group, or I could say, you know what, I want to do all that, but I only want to do it for certain vendors. We have over 100 vendors and about 2,500 different products. I like this one, alert the user and deploy, deploy after log off, interacts with the user, shows them something, they can then log off, and they know that when they log off, if there's an, a reboot required, it will run after they've logged off. Okay, so you've got a bunch of options there. The other cool thing about the recurrence, which you can all for daily, weekly, monthly, or whatever. Or I've got customers who love the fact that you can do an offset off patch Tuesday. So you can do that for different groups and have that uh, rolling out. But the cool thing about this is you go down, you can see all the actual dates that the patching is going to occur. If you've got an offset between deployment and the scan, you'll see that show up as well. But that gives you the ability to go through the dates and say, actually, we can't do that one because... Uh, it clashes with end of month or whatever it is. So you can see that up front, all of the schedules in one clean view to show what's going to happen with your patching cycle.